Welcome back to Morning Height. It is Women Crush Wednesday, and today we are spotlighting Karen Williams. She's a new executive director of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority. Take a listen. Karen Williams is here with us today. She is our Women Crush Wednesday, and we're excited to have you on to tell us all about your new position. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Sigma Gamma Rho was founded back in 1922. Why are organizations like yours and the rest of the Divine Nine still so relevant 100 years later? We are still relevant because the need for our organization still exists. Mm -hmm. There is still a need for organizations that support scholarship, um, and definitely with women of color, with uh, communities of color, we still need to support service. Uh, now more than ever, the social justice calls on our organizations are huge. We also want to support things like uh, reducing student debt. We want to look at um, some of the programs that we have in Sigma Gamma Rho. We're re reducing drowning. Today, we're celebrating 10 years of our partnership with USA Swimming. And so where we're going into communities of color and helping uh, black and brown children not drown as often. So we have work to do. And so we're 100 years strong, but there's definitely more work to do in this century of service. Hmm, there certainly is. How much of an honor has it been to be named to your position at this time in your sorority? Oh, it's, uh, first of all, amazing uh, choice of color today, I might add. <laughs> um, but I want to say it's an extreme honor. There are only a few women in the 100-year history of our organization that have held this role. So I am completely honored that the board of directors and our international grand basilisk, um, Sora Rashida S. Liberty, thought enough of me and my qualifications to appoint me to this role. And I intend to do everything possible to take Sigma Gamma Rho to the next level. We know you're gonna do great things and can't wait to follow your journey. For your 100th year, your theme is Greater Women, Greater World. What does that mean to you? Yes, well, our founders in 1922 gave us a slogan, greater service, greater progress. And for this next century of service, we're saying greater women, greater world, because when women make an impact, when women are in leadership, when you affect a woman, you affect a community, mm. you affect her children, her spouse, you have Affect, affect those connected to her. So we're excited. We intend to impact the world. You'll see us chartering chapters. We've been fortunate this year to charter chapters in Belize. We've wow. chartered a chapter in Ghana, and we have more to come on the continent of Africa in our centennial year. So we We've built schools in Malawi and Haiti and Nigeria and Senegal. So these greater women are doing a greater work in the world. Talk to us about the importance of sisterhood, especially among black women. This sisterhood, I um, will celebrate 30 years this year in the sisterhood. Mm. And this sisterhood has meant connections for me professionally. It has meant prayer partners um, on those low days when you need someone. It has meant consistent support wherever I've lived in the country. And my career has taken me to different cities and different states. But wherever I've gone, I've had a network of women who I knew had my best interests at heart and who I knew wanted to make an impact in their community. So this has been a life-saving, life-changing organization of sisterhood for me. And I am grateful to be able to just highlight our work around the world. I'm excited about this, but there's no other sisterhood like those of Sigma Gamma Rho. Mm. 